you know, your emotions, it's been a long 12 months. Here you are, finally going to get a chance to debut as a boiler. Uh, emotions are very high. Most, I'm very, I'm very grateful, very grateful, and just really just locked in. Like, oh, yeah, it's my first game back, but I'm just treating it like first game of the season, locked in, ready to go. What kind of role did you expect to have last year before you got hurt? Uh, just be able to come in and be a difference maker for the team, be able to make the plays, uh, make the make key plays, and just lead us. Well, was, was there any blessing in disguise from missing last year at all? Maybe another year to mature physically, uh, mentally, during the offense. Hmm. Any blessings? Yeah, like a silver lining in, in what was a bad situation. I don't know. Maybe that's left to be seen, but of course, but definitely uh, it was some good things that came from it. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say a blessing. Well, maybe it is a blessing. But if we won the national championship this year, I'll never know. But uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say blessing yet. But definitely good things coming from it, like being able to. Uh, better prepare my body, better being able to get stronger, get uh, faster, things like that. Do you feel like the leader of the group? Do I feel like the leader? I feel like my guys feel like they can count on me. I feel like my guys know that they can know that they know that they can count on me. What do you think of the true freshman Shamar Rigby being in the first team spot on the depth chart? I think he's earned it. I think uh, I think he's earned the spot. I think he definitely earned it. That's what I had to say on that. I think he earned it. How did you embrace last year? Just happened to sit back and watch. Just, uh, you knew before the season started, basically, that was going to be your situation. So I think you have to kind of shift mentally to, okay, this is what, what I'm going to do this season. Well, I was just thinking, okay, while well, these guys are going out and going to the war, my guys, I know they're going to do their thing, but I need to be ready for when I'm coming back. Uh, when when my time is up, I need to be able to go and not have any no, no glitches in the system, be able to just go and be ready for the team when I come back. How much did you and Hudson do this offseason in the summer and the spring, just getting that timing down? A lot. We did a lot, a lot, a lot. We did a lot of work went into it, and I hope y'all be able to see all these next coming Saturdays. How often would you guys go out and just throw you and you and him or, or him and, and all you guys wide receivers? We used to go a lot. Uh, me and Hudson used to actually come in every Sunday in the evening and get, get some work in, go through the route tree. We was doing that pretty much the whole summer. So that, you know, when I was uh, spring, I would take all the routes on air rest with him because I was no contact. So it's been a lot. It's been a lot going into it, a lot. And hope you all see you Saturday. When you, when you score your first touchdown, have you given any thought to how you celebrate? No, nah, I haven't given that no thought yet. <laughs> I know we asked you this before, but you've played here uh, a couple of years ago. What do you remember about the, the environment, the atmosphere? when you were here on the other side? It was lively, it was lively, it was great, it was amazing. I, rem I just remember thinking it was amazing. I remember thinking it was amazing. I know that wasn't your best game, but uh, right. did anything stand out about that day? It, it was a close game, if nothing else, so. Uh, just the, the part, like you said, it wasn't my best game, so that really, it was a really a turning point for me as a player. So that really stood out to me. Like, it really helped me be, uh, be able to come better prepared for every game and be, able, be putting my best foot forward throughout the whole week. So it was really a turn, turning point in my career. How, how much will the offense miss C.J. Smith on Saturday? Oh, a whole lot. We're gonna miss C.J. insurmountably. I can't. I don't even think I can put it into words. But at the same time, we have guys ready to go right behind him. So we'll be missing him, but we'll, it won't be no shortage in the offense. What would you think if, when you played here two years ago, someone said that? That you're gonna, this is going to be your home in a couple of years. I'd have said they were lying. I, I, wouldn't believe, I wouldn't believe them. It's just amazing, though. It's just amazing how God works and it's just been able to put me in West Lafayette and be able to meet all these amazing people and be in this lovely environment. What's the biggest difference between Boca Raton and West Lafayette? <laughs> I, would say, I would say the people here are much, they're, so, they're very nice here. Everybody's really polite, really well mannered. Not to say that there's no well mannered people in Florida or in Boca Raton, but it was just so prevalent here. Like everybody you see, everybody you want, bump into at the Walmart, they trying to help you. They're so everybody's so nice here. I love it here.